Welcome to our solar system. We start with the sun. Our star gives us light, heat, and energy. This is Mercury, the smallest regular planet in the solar system. This is Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system, thanks to the greenhouse effect. You are here. Welcome to Terra Firma, planet Earth, the only planet so far found to support life. This is Mars, the red planet. On its surface is Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system. We are now entering the asteroid belt. It is full, as you may have guessed, of asteroids. Speaking of asteroids, the largest one is actually the dwarf planet Ceres. This is, is, is Jupiter, the first, first of all gas giants and the largest planet in our solar system. It is best known for its great red spot. Although all gas giants have rings, Saturn's ring system is most visible. This is Uranus. It is not pronounced Uranus. is named for the Roman god of the sea and is the threshold of the Kuiper Belt. <gasps> Discovered in 1992, the Edgeworth Kuiper Belt is home to many newly found dwarf planets. This is Pluto, named for the Roman god of the underworld. It was named in 1930 and 39.5 AU, or over three and a half billion miles from the sun. KR was the first TNO, trans-Neptunian object, to be measured directly from the Hubble Space Telescope images. This small dwarf planet candidate named Varuna is a classic Cubiwano or Kuiper Belt object. This is Orcus, discovered by the Mike Brown Caltech team in 2004. Just last year, in 2007, the orbit of a satellite was discovered around Orcus. I didn't know Orcus had a moon. Next up is Haume, our only ellipsoid, egg-shaped, dwarf planet discovered so far. Its namesake comes from the Hawaiian god, goddess of fertility. This is Maki Maki the last known dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt. Discovered in 2005, it was made an official dwarf planet in 2008. We are now leaving the neighborhood of the KB. Kuiper Belt! And entering the sparse, scattered disk. This lonely dwarf planet Sedna is without any neighbors so far. It's three times as far from the sun as Neptune. We consider it official. Dwarf planet.
planet discovered to date. Its dwarf planet status forever changed how we view Pluto and other dwarf planets. It is a whopping 96.5 AU from the sun. And lies at the edge of the sun's gravitational influence. Not much is known beyond Eris, but it is very high as to be the home of the rogue comets. It is called the Oort Cloud. This concludes our tour of the solar system, where one inch equals one million miles. We hope to add many more dwarf planets in the future. Thanks.